Well, first of all, before we get to dual exhaust, let's do a quick lesson in exhaust in the first place. They serve really three functions. The first is evacuation or scavenging as it's known in the trade. That's the idea of getting the burned charge, that's the air and fuel that's been combusted, out of the engine, it's no good anymore, and on its way quickly and rapidly. Doing that efficiently lets the engine generate more power by breathing more freely. It also can improve MPG. Your second major function, and obviously a critical one, is emissions. Your catalytic converters live on your exhaust system, in line with the pipes. Now, back in the day before CATs, you know, exhaust systems weren't really part of emissions so much. Now, they're a critical part of your vehicle's compliance with the law. And the last function, and the one that's the most fun, to be honest, is tone. Whether you want a really hush, quiet car, or one that has, shall we say, a certain presence as you arrive, you get that done in the acoustic design of the exhaust system, either by the factory engineers or by the guy down at the muffler shop who's bent a lot of pipes. I love muffler shops. In an auto world full of repairs that consist of primarily computer-dictated part swaps, what happens here is handmade and verging on art. Nowhere more true than at one of the best muffler shops in our San Francisco area, Johnny Franklin's in San Rafael, California. So let's take a tour of the exhaust components of, Absolutely. in this case, we got an older car, but yep. it hasn't changed too much. No. Except no catalytic converters. Exactly. <laughs> Don Johnson is a third generation muffler man. Good choice to explain how it all works. So the first piece coming off the engine is, is the exhaust manifold. Right off the cylinder head itself, four cylinders on each side for the V8. When each cylinder is firing out exhaust, yep. they've got their own port exactly. to breathe out of. Exactly. Then it all merges into a collector into the exhaust pipe. So now we're into the pipe for the first point. Yes. Here. Bolts up on each side, one over here, one over here. Yep. And then the front pipes come down through the cross member here. H pipe, or otherwise known as the equalizer pipe. That actually breaks the pressure between the right and left sides of the motor. So this could be an X also, right? It can be an X, yeah. And it would just kind of do that. Yep. Cross over, and now they've changed sides, basically. Exactly. But it's Absolutely. also helping, as you guys in the biz say, helping it scavenge. Absolutely. Because uh, each side is kind of helping draw the other side's exhaust out. Exactly. Okay, it's kind of like a Venturi effect. As yes. this rushes by, it sucks some of the other stuff with it. Yep. These X or H pipes also do wonders to give the system a smoother, more muscular sound. Without it, you'll get that classic lowrider sound. You'll get that yeah, so that like a machine gun sound almost. You know, 60s Impala. Yeah. And now we just have some more pipe until we get to the traditional duals, glass packs here. They're a straight through design. There's no restrictions. So the tube actually goes through the center. It's a perforated core. So there's not much there to calm it down. And then we'll travel up and over the rear end. And then we finish up with one last muffler here. The exhaust will come in on both sides, and the exhaust will merge together again, and then out, out the top. Out the tailpipes on each side. Okay. And then tailpipes are basically to keep the exhaust out from pooling under the car. Yeah, without it, you'll get fumes, obviously, inside the yeah. car. But also, without tailpipes, um, you'll pick up a lot of harmonic drone inside the car. Customers that have us do no tailpipes, we all kind of joke around on how many weeks before <laughs> they're back. They come back, right? Yeah, because of the 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 drone is it's just a boom 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 inside yeah. the car. Yeah. It's not a pretty sound. No, it's horrible. Now a dual exhaust system is nothing more than a system that is two exhausts. They're identical on both sides of the car, typically running off two sides of the engine. That usually is predicated on the engine being a V configuration. But why a dual? Generally speaking, like on a on an older vintage car, single exhaust to dual exhaust, you're going to pick up probably about 20 horsepower. Uh, on a new modern day car, you're only going to pick up probably about 10. Still, it's a notable difference, yeah. And what about fuel efficiency? Does it help get better gas mileage? Pre 75, your fuel mileage is usually about two miles a gallon better. Um, newer cars and trucks really vary from nothing to a mile or two, yeah. Lots of cars have bogus duels today. They look like duels or even quads at the rear, but they're maybe only dual from the catalyst on back, or even only at the tips for cosmetic reasons. A true duel is a parallel system from each of the two cylinder banks all the way back to the end. If I see two or four tips on a car today, what do I read into that? Uh, not so much. Most of the newer cars, you know, they'll come through the catalytic converters and then they'll split into two in the rear of the car. And uh, it's a little bit more of a fake duel. 
If it's a factory muffler system, uh, there's not usually a lot of performance gain. Uh, if the aftermarket's performance mufflers got involved, yes, there is a gain there. And bottom line is using a lower restriction muffler versus a regular stock muffler that's got a little bit more back pressure to it. So there are a lot of ways to get a better performing exhaust without necessarily making a dual exhaust. Yes. But a dual is kind of the more ambitious level absolutely. of letting an engine breathe. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I think the bottom line is the consumer wants to see dual pipes on the back of the car. It it's, adds a little extra something something back there. It's uh, car jewelry. It just looks good, doesn't it? It looks great. Yeah.